हेलो एवरीवन सो वी आर हेयर अगेन टारगेट एफएमजी 2023 यस वी आर देयर फास्ट फॉरवर्ड पीडेट्रिक्स लास्ट टू डेज वी कवर सो मेनी एमसीक्यू एंड पीडेट्रिक्स इन फास्ट फॉरवर्ड मोड यस यू नो पीडेट्रिक्स बाय नाउ बट या देयर आर फ्यू क्वेश्चन व्हिच नीड टू बी हैमर रिपीटेडली सो वी आर हेयर विद आवर पार्ट 3 पार्ट 3 यस समथिंग अबाउट एन एकेडमी target next batch target fmg don't waste your time see the amount join this and feel the difference join this and feel the difference once you are joining an academy try to use code dr sanjay live to get additional discount yes this is the batch for fmg this is the target next batch take that feel of top educator the top platform the question bank the previous year questions all the question bank series presenting meet pg vital recorded video recorded video see all the educator with their best effort make those video so be there on an academy and take advantage of those video so today as i have promised today is part 3 31st may myself dr sanjay khatri your pediatric educator yes part 3 will be image based question ibq image based questions okay so here we go here is the first image watch the image watch the image then you jump on the answer watch the image then you jump on the answer neonate born with finding shown in pic which of the following investigation very good dr yash bablu kumar no so what you are seeing it's a image based question na see this is the hand and see this portion radius is absent radius is absent radius is absent so when radius is absent there is a possibility of tar syndrome yes we will do we will do platelet count first simplest question but the base of the question is image yeah few people stuck in the ear few people stuck in the hair few are what is this this is ecg lead so like this some may be looking at umbilicus image based question if you pick it it's the absent radius it is the absent radius you will see when child born with absent radius first test we will do is to platelet count whether it's isolated radius absent or it's a part of tar syndrome it's a part of tar syndrome so many time this question has come answer this answer this this is the typical question when image based question started na in our pg days image based question were not there but when image based question started na this is the commonest question in every exam in every grand test this was the question two year old child facial navius on left side facial navius on left side yes this is sturge weber syndrome this is sturge weber syndrome it is characterized by facial navius on the same side same side glaucoma facial navius on the same side same side glaucoma opposite side paralysis opposite side seizures opposite side paralysis suppose navius on right side then paralysis on the left navius on the right side glaucoma on the right side seizure on the left opposite side same side paral same side navius same side glaucoma and ct show intracranial yes calcification that is known as tram track appearance now come to the question 
नेवियस ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड नेवियस ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड सो राइट साइड कन्वर्जन नेवियस ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड सो लेफ्ट साइड ग्लोकुमा दिस इज आल्सो राइट सिटी शो इंट्रा क्रेनियल कैल्सिफिकेशन दिस इज आल्सो राइट फेशियल नेवियस ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड पैरालिसिस अपोजिट साइड पैरालिसिस शुड बी ऑन राइट साइड so this is the question this is the question my friend like this concentrate on image then start your question concentrate on image then start your question answer this such a lovely baby and very good question reflex shown in pick is yes baby is grasp the finger this is grasp reflex so grasp reflex grasp reflex present at disappear by which age grasp reflex present at birth they ask disappear disappear by 3 month grass reflex present at birth whatever the thing it's pencil pen or finger you can put in a newborn baby hand he will grasp it but it reflex present at birth but examiner want to know when it disappear it disappear by 3 month quickly look at the image look at the image we are here for image based question look at the image neonatal reflex shown in the pic is see head turn on this side this limb goes into extension this limb goes into extension opposite limb goes into flexion opposite limb goes into flexion turn head this side this limb goes into extension opposite goes into flexion turn head this side this limb goes into extension opposite into flexion fencing posture fencing portion the side you turn the neck goes into extension side opposite goes into flexion this is asymmetrical tonic neck reflex asymmetrical tonic neck reflex now simple thing this baby lies in supine position when baby want to turn from supine to prone supine to prone at 6 month of age once baby goes into supine to prone baby will 6 month of age now if this reflex persist if baby want to turn if baby want to turn that extremity goes into extension so baby can't be go from supine to prone position if baby want to go from supine to prone position this reflex has to be disappear a t n r has to be disappear then only baby will turn from supine to prone supine to prone baby will take place at 6 month so definitely this reflex disappear by 5 to 6 month 5 to 6 month why you are answering 3 to 4 month fencing yes a t n r yes it symmetrical tonic neck reflex disappear by disappear by 5 to 6 month 5 to 6 month asked in the previous exams answer this question typical question typical question you can pick this question from history or you can pick this question from classical x ray but yeah it's image based question so give respect to the x ray 
एट मंथ बेबी प्रेजेंटेड टू यू ब्लीडिंग गम नॉट मूविंग लोअर लेम इट्स पैरालिसिस बट इट्स नॉट ड्यू टू वीकनेस सुडो पैरालिसिस एंड डिलेड वुंड हीलिंग दीज ऑल आर द फीचर ऑफ विटामिन सी डेफिशिएंसी स्कर्वी बट एक्सरे इज शोन हेयर इफ यू वॉच दिस एक्सरे केयरफुली टू थिंग वेरी प्रोमिनेंट पॉइंट दिस रिंग यू कैन विटनेस this is ring shaped epiphysis then this white line this is white line of frankel then this line extend from here this is pulcan spur then adjacent to white line you notice a black line this is black line of scurvy this is black line of scurvy yes wimberger ring so keep this x ray in your mind this is classical image based question when we are in our pg days then no internet no mobile no google no such type of images so our examiner have a box in which classical x ray were there rickets scurvy they preserve those classical x ray yes this is the schematic diagram see ring sign wimberger ring wimberger ring this white line of frankel white line of frankel it extend beyond the shaft this is pulcan spur you can see a line adjacent to the line of frankel this is black line this is line of scurvy and you can witness subperiosteal bleed subperiosteal hemorrhage subperiosteal hemorrhage good evening good evening everybody so ye see this is the classical x ray of scurvy till now what we have covered classical image absent radius tar sturge weber syndrome concentrate on image classical question on sturge weber syndrome this grass reflex disappear by 3 month asymmetrical tonic neck reflex disappear by 5 to 6 month this is x ray of scurvy and this is the schematic diagram of x ray of scurvy So be there. Classical images await you. Okay, answer this question. Answer this question. Arrow, arrow is shown. What is this? What is this? White. spot everybody is answering c yes it is epstein pearl epstein pearl this is epstein pearl it is retention cyst at the line of palatal fusion at the line of palatal fusion this is a normal finding present 50 to 60% of term baby if you watch no treatment no treatment it require no treatment disappear by another two week but the classical high class mcq if you scrap this epstein peel contain what substance it contain keratin it contain keratin good evening rishi it contain keratin it contain keratin am i clear am i clear this is epstein pearl it's a normal finding in a neonate answer this such a classic question wait read carefully think then answer think and then answer child can able to make figure a what is figure a it's the sign of plus which child can make at 4 year of age but not figure b what is figure b it is cross sign which child can able to make at 5 year so such a simple na child can able to make thing 
which happen at four year. The child is four year old, but not five year. So it is four to five year. Why you are on putting C? Why C? Because child can able to do activity of four year, but not able to do activity of five year. Then what is the age of the child? Four to five. Four to five. Now these are the universal question. Circle plus square cross triangle. A child can make circle at three year plus an square at four year cross and triangle at five year. Clear na? Clear. So child can able to make plus but not able to make cross. When child is able to make plus, he is four year of eight, but not cross. So less than five. So child age is more than four and less than five. Between means four to five years. Four to five years. Am I clear? Give me thumbs up. This is classical question. Clear? When child can able to make plus, cross, square, triangle, circle. So you should be clear in this answer. Another classical question. Take your time. Take your time. Answer it. This is tower of cubes. These are 1, 2 and 3. 3 cube tower. Child can make. Child can make. C. 2 cube tower child can make at 15 month. 3 cube tower child can make at 18 month. 6 cube tower child can make at 24 month. 9 cube tower child can make at 36 month. Remember this. This may be a question in FMG exam. One or two question is always from milestone. So it's tower of 3 cubes. 18 month. Tower of 3 cubes. 18 month. Answer. Clear? So remember, circle plus cross square when child can able to make. Tower of 2 cube, 3 cube, 6 cube, 9 cubes. Answer it. We have discussed this question partially yesterday class. New bond with above ECG finding. Newborn with above ECG finding. First thing, we calculate the heart rate. R and R. How many square between two R? Large square. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, heart rate is 300 divided by 6. 50. Neonate with heart rate 50. Neonate with heart rate 50. First thing should come in your mind. Mother will have SLE. How you confirm? How you confirm? Mother is having SLE. Do maternal serum, anti rho and anti la. My friend, remember this concept. This ECG, SLE lead to complete heart block. How you diagnose complete heart block? Anti rho and anti la antibody in mother in mother. So remember this. This is one of the probable question for your exam. Remember this. Answer this. Diagnosis. Put answer in the comment box. Put answer in the comment box. So this R and this R. Only one large square is there. So heart rate is 300 by 1. 300. So yes, in a one year old child, until unless prove otherwise, heart rate more than 240, it is PSVT. Paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia very nicely if you want to describe this this is narrow 
QRS complex tachycardia narrow QRS complex tachycardia without preceding P waves. QRS is narrow and you are not able to see P wave. It is SVT. Now how to calculate the heart rate? How to calculate the heart rate? Simple rule. 1500 divided by number of small square or 300 divided by number of large square. Okay. Okay. 300 divided by number of large square. So, if this is R and this is R, number of large square, if it is between 1 R and 1 R is 1, then heart rate is 300. If it is 2, then heart rate is 150. If it is 3, then it's 100. But if it is 4, 5, it is 60. But if it is 6, then it is 50. It is 50. Now, see the both the example. Here, between 1 RR, 1 large square is there, heart rate is 300. Here, between 1 R and 1 R, 6 large square is there, so heart rate is 50. Heart rate is 50. So, this is the thing, you can calculate the heart rate in the ECG. Now, supraventricular tachycardia, what happened? What happened? This is heart. This is pacemaker. So, abnormal impulse generated from here reaches to ventricle. Supraventricular. Impulse generated from supraventricular. Supraventricular. Yes, it is SVT. A focus arises supraventricular. Then ventricle start contracting. Heart rate is more than 240 per minute. So, what we will do? What we will do? Our first aim to give the drug which leads to AV block. So, that impulse will not go from atria to ventricle. What are the drugs which causes AV block? A, B, C, D. A for adenosine. B for beta blocker. C for calcium channel blocker and D for digoxin. Drug of choice is A, adenosine. Clear, na? Supraventricular tachycardia. Now, answer. Answer it. To ECG, these all are spotters in DNB exams. But this can come in your image-based question also. Medicine or pediatrics, see the ECG. If you are seeing irregular RR, very simple, irregular RR, difference between RR is quite irregular, obvious, irregular RR. Until, unless prove otherwise, it is atrial fibrillation. It is atrial fibrillation. Here, you can saw saw tooth appearance saw tooth appearance it is come as 2 is to 4 1 is to 2 block saw tooth appearance classical it is atrial flutter atrial flutter so these are the common common ecg based question you should know answer this this fmg ask Previous to previous year question, they have given you a ECG and they want what is the axis. So, I am waiting for your answer. What is the axis in this question? What is the axis in this question? So, to calculate the axis, we need to concentrate. It's a simple rule. If you know it's okay, revise this. If concentrate for two minutes.
फर्स्ट एंड एवीएफ फर्स्ट एंड एवीएफ फर्स्ट एंड एवीएफ टू लीड नाउ सी दिस इज पॉजिटिव डिफ्लेक्शन दिस इज नेगेटिव डिफ्लेक्शन फर्स्ट लीड इज मोर पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव यस फर्स्ट लीड इज मोर नेगेटिव एफ दिस इज पॉजिटिव दिस इज नेगेटिव सो एफ इज पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव एफ इज मोर पॉजिटिव एम आई क्लियर फर्स्ट इज मोर नेगेटिव एवीएफ इज मोर पॉजिटिव नाउ कम हेयर यू कैन सी फर्स्ट मोर नेगेटिव एफ मोर पॉजिटिव नाउ ड्रॉ लाइक दिस ड्रॉ टू लाइन दिस इज मेक ए प्लस हॉरिजेंटल लाइन इंडिकेट फर्स्ट लीड वर्टिकल इंडिकेट एवीएफ now concentrate here is the plus here is the plus for first lead here is the minus for af above is the minus it's a simple graph even seventh standard student can put this now your first lead is negative so first lead negative mark should come here okay avf is positive AVF is positive. Mark should come here. So when you make these two axes will come here. It is 150 degree. It is 150 degree. It is right axis deviation. See, this is normal hexaaxial system. See, if axis comes here. In this quadrant. this is left axis deviation left axis deviation then your green indicate normal axis then when axis is from 90 to 180 this is right axis and this is extreme axis so yeah if your axis comes here it is left axis deviation lex axis comes here it is right axis deviation this axis is normal so fmg exam they ask a question they ask a question in which first and avf both were positive now see if both were positive this is first and this is avf so axis come here that will be normal axis that will be normal axis suppose your first lead is positive and your avf is negative then axis should come here that is left axis deviation so examiner should expect at least you can tell it's left axis normal or right axis just concentrate on a first and avf if both are positive you are having normal axis if avf is a negative but sorry first is a negative but avf is positive you will have right axis deviation but if first is a negative first is positive avf is a negative you will have left axis deviation it is very simple i am again repeating both are positive you will have normal axis first is positive avf is negative you will have left axis deviation avf is positive but first is negative you will have right axis deviation simple rule it will give you one question in fmg exam clear clear answer this simplest of question baby born at 32 week of gestation present at 4 hour after birth with respiratory distress x ray shown in two points are suggesting number 1 it's a preterm and number 2 onset of respiratory distress within 4 hour yes this is the picture of hmd hyaline membrane disease 
hyaline membrane disease clear because what you are seeing ground glass appearance white out lung yes this is hyaline membrane disease classical question this x-ray asked three times in last six year in fmg last six exam three times you find this x-ray so answer this answer this a full term four hour respiratory distress if we see the x-ray what we are seeing here these are bow loops where is the heart heart shifted here dextro position of the heart this is fluid level in thoracic cavity this is the classical x-ray of congenital diaphragmatic hernia congenital diaphragmatic hernia features are features are apex beat shifted to right side gurgling sound over chest and when intestine come into thoracic cavity you have scaphoid abdomen you have scaphoid abdomen these are the finding x-ray show air fluid level in the thoracic cavity heart shifted to right side dextro position of the heart this is the classical x-ray of congenital diaphragmatic hernia answer this question some clinical question yes this is meter dose inhaler meter dose inhaler when we press from here mouth is there so after removing the cap we put mouth here it require press and breath coordination it require press and breath coordination it require press and breath coordination so this is the instrument device of can be used above 12 year because above 12 year child can understand when he or she need to press then only take breath require press and breath coordination but what we will do if child is small so these are this is mdi this is mdi with spacer and this is mdi plus spacer plus mask plus mask mdi if you press child can take more breath. now child is small he can put the mouth here you can press particle will go here remain in spacer and subsequent breath child can take this is the instrument of choice between 4 to 12 year when child is sufficient intelligent that he can hold that piece in mouth and then you press but below four year child cannot able to hold in mouth then we need a mask so put a mask then a spacer then mdi we push it and drug goes like this this is below four year so choice of device for treatment of asthma here you see children below four year mdi plus spacer plus face mask clear children 4 to 12 year mdi plus spacer mdi plus spacer children above 12 year mdi nebulizer you can use in any age any age even in a neonate even in a 60 year nebulizer but you can't carry nebulizer in the garden so you see so many time in movies or serials people taking mdi 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 so got my point
what's my point these are the devices used in the treatment of asthma choice of devices for treatment of asthma answer this think and answer i am waiting for your answer lavanya virender indian aditi vikrant pankaj healthy talk healthy med talk condition shown in pic what is the condition shown in pic yes it is pyloric stenosis yes here you saw the string sign mushroom sign on barium pyloric stenosis a string or mushroom sign on barium now mother taking which drug baby pyloric stenosis occur it is erythromycin the beauty of image based question examiner can ask so many things so examiner can ask only this question what drug taken by mother leads to pyloric stenosis but examiner wants to extract lot of from you so they give a picture so whether you can identify yes you can identify this is pyloric stenosis the first part is you need to identify what image show then question is start if you not able to identify then you can't able to answer na so that's the beauty of image based question answer this answer this if you saw this once you can answer else you can't hint hint heart is shifted to right side heart is shifted to right side okay now have you noticed this channel here with the arrow channel is there with the arrow have you noticed channel now you notice heart shifted to right side and you will finding this channel this channel on x ray this is skimitar syndrome skimitar syndrome skimitar syndrome what is this simple skimitar you find this channel skimitar it's turkish short like appearance where this term come from how this happen see try to understand this is left pulmonary vein open into la upper and lower open into la now right pulmonary vein supposed to open here in la they are supposed to open in la but see these are the right pulmonary vein upper and lower both vein unite and drain into and drain into ivc so it is anomalous venous connection not all four vein two wave two veins anomalous drain so yet it is p a p v c partial anomalous pulmonary venous connection where right sided vein draining into ivc and this is the channel you are seeing these are the right sided vein training into ivc so skimitar is a example of p a p v c p a p v c t a p v c total anomalous pulmonary venous connection all four pulmonary veins drain into r a s v c or ivc total but here it's not total it's partial because two veins are normally draining into l na am i clear hypokalemic hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis pyloric stenosis yes 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 yes, yes. x ray and chd universal question you can't ignore this picture this aims exam tapvc x ray figure of 8 so what is this appearance what is this appearance you find a box 
box shaped heart this is egg on side appearance this is figure of eight and this is boot shaped clear box shaped heart epstein's anomaly egg on side appearance कीजिए स्नोमैन और फिगर ऑफ एट टी ए पी वी सी बूट शेपेड हार्ट यू कांट इग्नोर दिस क्वेश्चन दे आर कॉल्ड यूनिवर्सल क्वेश्चन दे कैन कम इन एनी एग्जाम्स ओके सो ट्राई टू रिमेंबर दिस एक्स रे एंड क्लासिकल इज स्कीमिटा इफ एग्जामिनर वॉन्ट टू आस्क मोर फ्रॉम यू दे गिव एक्स रे ऑफ स्कीमिटा heart to the right side and you can notice the channel previous year question this condition of nail present in this is spooning of nail collie knee key this is present in iron deficiency anemia last year question image based colinikia this is iron deficiency anemia so what is present in arsenic poisoning knee line typical white band traversing the width of the nail you can see this white band you can see this white band this is me line in arsenic poisoning bu line in kawasaki we are seeing so many patient of kawasaki being a pediatric cardiologist yes if you see the nail la center center depression is there this is known as bu line bu line and teril nail in liver cirrhosis in which only a narrow zone is pink at distal end whole nail become white so when examiner ask this in previous year question and these are the choices so they can ask arsenic poisoning knees line liver failure teri nail kawasaki disease bu lines colinakia in iron deficiency anemia am i clear answer so what is this child receiving phototherapy phototherapy this is the phototherapy machine ideal distance between phototherapy and child ideal distance between you can keep phototherapy here also so near so far but there should be ideal distance na distance between phototherapy and baby is 45 45 cm 45 remember this iap guideline common question asked in mbbs neurology quiz what is the distance between phototherapy and babies 45 cm answer this answer this radial pulse trace shown in pic is suggestive of any pulse tip is indicating of systolic bp this downward indicating diastolic bp so systolic bp is 120 diastolic bp is 30 so 120 by 30 pulse pressure is 100 wide pulse pressure wide pulse pressure this notch is normal my friend wide pulse pressure bp can't be 120 by 30 na wide pulse pressure is suggestive of severe aortic regurgitation severe aortic regurgitation this is the classical image based question so simple here the reading of bp is written 120 systolic diastolic 30 120 by 
वाइड पल्स प्रेशर इज सजेस्टिव ऑफ सीवियर आयोटिक रिगर्जिटेशन सीवियर आयोटिक रिगर्जिटेशन एम आई क्लियर क्लियर आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन ओके बिफोर दिस क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू लर्न सिंपल बेसिक एस वन एस टू एस वन एस वन एस टू एस वन एस वन एस टू एस वन इफ मरमर इज देयर बिटवीन एस वन एंड एस टू इट इज सिस्टोलिक मरमर मरमर बिटवीन एस टू एंड एस वन इट इज डायस्टोलिक मरमर मरमर स्टार्ट इन एस वन एंड स्पिल इन टू डायस्टॉल इट इज कंटिन्यूस मरमर ओके नाउ इन आवर क्वेश्चन this is s1 this is s2 so murmur between s1 and s2 so one thing is sure it is systolic murmur now mitral stenosis is a diastolic murmur so this is to out now vsd as and mr so systolic murmur systolic murmur broadly it is band systolic ejection systolic few are early systolic and late systolic but we need to concentrate on what is band systolic and what is ejection systolic band systolic as the name denote pan murmur start with s1 overlap the s2 pan systolic throughout systolic ejection systolic murmur start after a graft from s1 crescendo decrescendo crescendo decrescendo this is ejection systolic murmur clear so pan systolic murmur universally three condition vsd mr and tr these three condition produce pan systolic murmur these three produce pan systolic murmur vsd mrtr whether you are in mbbs md dm pan systolic murmur three causes vsd mrtr ejection systolic murmur as and ps so now come to the question our murmur start from a gap crescendo decrescendo crescendo so it's a murmur of aortic stenosis or pulmonary stenosis it is a systolic murmur but not pan systolic non pan systolic so mitral and vsd is out so given example murmur is of aortic stenosis am i clear am i clear this is typical question previous neat pg also this question was there so be prepare answer this if you read this question na you will get the answer but spend your time in looking at the image 7 year old female crampy abdominal pain rash mainly on the back of her leg laboratory protein urea and microscopic hematuria so what classical thing it's the rash if you see once this patient na rash below buttocks over lower limb this is classical of hinox colin purpura hinox colin purpura characterized by four feature number 1 rash which is present in 100% of the patient then arthritis then abdominal pain and then glomerulonephritis arthritis present in 80% abdominal pain in 60% and glomerulonephritis in 50% in our patient pain abdomen is there glomerulonephritis is there and rash is there it is inox colin purpura so my friend i have tried to cover few good image based question whether it's a milestone plus square cross triangle tower of 2 cube 3 cube grass reflex some reflexes atonic neck reflex 
phototherapy devices used in asthma, classical X-ray of scurvy, Epstein Pearl, all these questions, Sturge Weber syndrome, Tar syndrome, these all are the classical. Then classical ECG of SVT, heart block, flutter, fibrillation, and above all, how to calculate the axis. So yeah, these are so many image-based questions, and these all are important. These all are important. So by this, we end our this three sessions. If somebody miss, watch. All are available on the YouTube. Share with your friends. Yes, as I promise, and as you want also. I come with few more sessions for FMG like this next week. Definitely next week. If you feel I will cover more image based questions because more or more questions are like this or definitely few history based questions from which you are really afraid. But those are easy one. Those are easy one. So be there. Be connected. I put my some few questions on my telegram group. Few images on my telegram group for just brainstorming. Be there. I am coming back with few more session, an academy platform or YouTube channel of an academy. Till then, bye bye. God bless you all. Myself, Dr. Sanjay Khatri. Hope you like this images and session. I will come with more work, more for you. Thank you. Yeah, Indian. I saw a previous two year paper. Yes, I can say one question is little bit away from all 99% questions are from there. Okay, so be there. Watch. I am not predicting, but these are the important question you should know. You 